<clears throat> Welcome back so soon. Today is Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. Just had to get this one out there because I had a uh, just a sudden surge of energy, an idea that I wanted to get out there in regards to uh, the target demographic. What corporate cowboys, who, who corporate cowboys are targeting, who incorporating associates seek to incorporate. I mean, ideally, it could be uh, folks of any age. And just in speaking with my own associates, uh, the types, the types of individuals that we love coming across and we love relating to and we love roping in like a corporate cowboy and incorporating them. Are those who um, are necessarily aspiring to be something more, not just something else, something more, something better. They want to build, they want to create, they want to produce, they want to be productive, they want to be uh, upstanding, they're as aspiring to be professional. And um, in terms of innovation, in terms of improvement, I mean, at a societal level, at the most macro level you could imagine, international, worldly, dimensionally, parat, parad, parad, paradigmally, <laughs> paradigm. I, I wonder what the, <laughs> I wonder what the um, inclusive form of paradigm is. Paradigm, paradigmally. Fuck it, I tried. But at the most macro level, you can't imagine. The target demographic, well, it's the one that's always growing. It's young people. Me, I'm, I'm fucking 30 years old. I'm on my way out. That's how I see it. I'm on my way out. But if I could go back in time, see young Alex hustling, making his bones in corporate. If I knew what young Alex was about, I would have pulled him aside and said, you know what, young Alex? You could do better. You could do it outside of corporate. You could do what you do now in corporate and bring it Bring it outside of corporate. If corporate is what's holding you back. If the hierarchy, if, if the lack of rank, the lack of title, if that's what's holding you back, fucking leave. Leave the hierarchy. Get representation. I mean, I'm, I'm saying this now. I would say this to young Alex. Essentially, I'd... Take him on as a client. I would be their legal representative, their advocate. Because young Alex had great ideas. Had. Well, I mean, he still has, right? He still has a couple fucking years left. <laughs> so he still has great ideas on which to capitalize on. But he is, he's not going to, well, I should stop speaking in the third person, right? Because motherfucking Alex is right here. <laughs> Forever your intern at Incorporating Associates. And in case you haven't caught on yet, maybe you weren't on since like episode one. Intern, again, it's just a title. But interns can still point and shoot 
<laughs> interns can still do dirt. Interns put in work. Forever yours, Alex, at your service. This is the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Yes, we are on Instagram, incorporating.associates underscore IA. You can follow us, send your friends, uh, share any posts from there with your own circle and let them know. I don't know. I would just preface it with, look at this weird fucking page. They're all about business and violence. <laughs> some, I don't know. Some corporate cowboy shit. You can come up with something. You're more creative at, on your end than I could be with your resources. Well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I probably could be more creative with your resources, but your ends. You are probably more creative with your ends than I could be with them. Only you know what you're working with. Only you know how you would use them. And in that way, individuality is preserved. The target demographic, though, I would say it's going to be folks starting high school. Fuck it. I mean, I probably don't want to go any younger because when you're dealing with younger people, I mean, they, ha they have to learn the basics before they can be hands-on with the world. And yes, yeah, some of that they get from the household, from their household, some of that they learn in school, and some of that they learn in the real world through, through experience. For the most part, though, we need corporate cowboys who already have a sense of where they're going. And it's amazing. It's amazing. Even, even in school, now being an, an, older, an older individual, even myself, when I visit uh, campuses and just walking the halls, you can see, you can see the energy. It's, it's akin to being in the Matrix after Neo got blasted fucking seven times in the chest and he gets up and he just sees code around him <laughs> he gets up and like he's he realizes what the matrix is about he realizes what life and death really is right it's 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 whoa it's like an ego death right he wakes up and realizes that what makes the world up are packages of information, right? It's like you're operating inside a computer. I'm about to start like eight, about to start talking like Agent Smith right now just for the fuck of it. Imagine, if you will, you are living inside of a computer simulation and the programs with which you interact with on a day to day basis are predestined to maintain the world they operate in, the world they live in. So these young people, when you see them walking through the halls, it's not hard to imagine. It's not hard to imagine now that I'm older. Just take a step back, take a step back out away from the hall let the young people get to their classes let the young people uh meet with their groups say hi to their friends and all and just realize recognize that what you are observing are literally packages of information packages of information programs essentially that you can reach out and interact with you can ask them where they are going you can ask them what they are doing. You can ask them what they are going to do. You can ask them what they want out of, in this context, their education. What are they seeking out of their education? 
And I've done it before. It's called social research. It's called surveying, getting that quantitative and qualitative information. Quantitative being the N, uh, the N number of students that you interview. And the qualitative information being the what, what exactly you're investigating. I was, I was I was about to say extracting, but that sounds a little fucking invasive. You feel me? <laughs> but the skill is there. The skill to extract that information, to to distill what is their goal in life, to be able to distill that from just a few minutes. A few minutes, fleeting minutes, just their their passing period, their passing time onto their next class. Just those few minutes, you can you can secure that in three to five questions. And I've done it. I've done it before. I already like that's that's what's informed me of what I'm doing in my prospective career. That's informed how I interact with my prospective associates. That's informed how I inform the missions of my associates. That's informed how I speak in public. That's informed how I speak in private. That's that's informed how I become a better interviewer, a better social researcher, a better corporate cowboy. Better at incorporating associates. Man. And you can get them when they're young. You can get them when they're young. They don't have to be lost. They don't have to be lost. Again, it's it's the game of life. It's the game of death. It's logic and tact. With the questions you ask, you don't even have to make accusations. You don't even have to make assertions. It's just the questions that you ask. Go back to the first fucking episode, the skeleton key. It's the questions you ask that makes them think. Every word counts. Every syllable counts. Yes, this podcast from time to time takes on a casual cadence, takes on a position of comedy, takes on a position of of just riffing of just blowing off steam of cathartic release cathartic release nothing wrong with that so long as you know that when <laughs> so long as you know that the 15 minutes you listen to me the 15 minutes that you are listening to me i'm picking your locks i'm Shaving down my skeleton key. I'm working, baby. I'm working right now. <laughs> I'm fucking working. I'm at work diligently. And then I have 23 hours and 45 minutes of every day where you don't see me work. Now, I don't even have to say looks can be deceiving. You probably heard it. In that phrase, where you don't see me work. What, you think I sleep eight hours a day? You think I sleep ten hours a day? You think I sleep six hours a day? So be mindful. Be mindful of how you interact with young people. And yes, I get it. Even in packs, they could be ruthless little sharks, but they're toothless. They're fucking toothless. A lot of them, all they know is virtual reality. And now more so than ever with, with the complete integration of digital screens in their young lives. The ability to talk smack and not taste blood. I mean, not not be made to taste blood. Ah, fuck it. You probably got it. <laughs> 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 
am I calling them sharks or am I the shark, right? You feel me? So that's, that's what you have to be mindful of. You have to be mindful of how you interact with young people. And it's, and it's in how you, um, it's in how you present yourself. I mean, it's always a cause for presentation. They say the world is a stage at the end of the day. I only got a couple of minutes left. I got to wrap it up. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll talk more about that target demographic because they're going to become more and more important. And they'll always be there. They'll always be there. They'll always be growing. They, they don't even have to be native born. Fucking imagine that. To incorporate associates. To make corporate better. To spread that corporate love. To have folks realize that corporate loves you. It doesn't even have to happen in the States. Shit is worldwide. It's international. Fucking target demographic. Everybody's young when you think about it. Everybody's on their way out. I used to think this was a midlife crisis when I was 18. <laughs>